Hi everyone, welcome to day 23 of our 28 days of Pilates challenge. Hope you're all well. For today's session, we're going to work on our abdominal muscles. So the muscles at the front and sides of our uh, tummy and abdomen and, and into the waist a little. This session today is an intermediate advanced uh, session. So it's not recommended, especially if you have any acute pain, acute back pain, any acute or new injury or spinal condition today is not recommended for you. So my advice would be go back and find one of the other days up until day 23, uh, there's loads to choose from and take a more gentle um, more gentle workout today. Okay, so let's get started otherwise. We're gonna come back, we're gonna lie on our backs. We're gonna get ourselves organized on the mat. Let's have our knees bent. We're gonna have our feet and knees uh, together. Then we'll walk our heels apart. Then walk our toes apart. Making sure then that we're lengthening through the spine all the way along it, particularly from the crown of the head. You can give your chin the littlest nod now to lengthen the back of the neck. Open your collarbones, draw your shoulder blades down at the back. Relax through the rib cage, making sure we're not sticking the rib too um, tensely up into the air. Relax. And then let's start with some pelvic tilt and some breathing. Um, hopefully you're knowing now with our breath, we're inhaling through the nose and exhaling out through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. We'll begin then continuing that breath with some pelvic tilt. So imagine your pelvis, the bone itself, it's like a bucket, it's full of water right now. And as we inhale now, we're going to spill water out the front of the bucket. Or imagine there's wheels here on either side of your pelvic bone and we're rolling those wheels forward. Let's exhale and roll back. We'll go again with that. We're going to inhale as we roll forward. And exhale as we roll back. Keeping our legs still, keeping the rest of our posture in that lovely lengthened position from the crown of the head all the way down. As you move here, we want to make sure we're really localizing this to the low back and to the pelvis. So try not to move excessively through the neck, through the shoulders, through the head here. You want to move the lumbar spine and pelvis just on its own. Obviously other things will move a little bit and it's not possible to, to prevent that. But really just think about localizing, inhaling as we roll forward and exhaling as we press the low back into imprint all the way down. One more, inhaling to roll forward and exhaling to roll back. How can you stop when you're halfway between those two points and feel then that you're in that neutral position? So it's our natural spinal curve in that position. You'll feel your chest is touching the floor, your pelvis and bum is touching the floor, your low back a little bit, ever so slightly, but we're not squished down into imprint. Imagine the space, not enough to get your hand underneath, but maybe just enough to have a little berry at the base of your spine. That's all we want. And then we're gonna switch on to deep abdominals. We're gonna work those and all the other abdominal muscles today too. So let's find the two bony points of our pelvis on either side, maybe use your first and second finger. We're gonna slide the fingers inwards off those points because you feel soft tissue. And then let's slide downwards into the lower abdominal area. What I want you to do is take a breath in and on the breath out, start to draw the belly button down towards your spine as if you were sucking the belly button in, but don't suck it in. Just think about drawing it down very gently. And you should feel those soft tissues under your fingers in that lower abdominal area tense up a little bit or just switch on a little bit. If you can, and think about your pelvic floor next, imagine that you need to pass wind. And this is the same, men and women, we all have pelvic floor muscles. Imagine you need to pass wind and you're going to try and tighten up around the back passage and hold it. Or imagine you need to pass urine and you're trying to hold that in as well. You should definitely feel that lower abdominal area, that pelvic floor area, uh, switching on a little bit. Let's release it and let it go. So we want to switch these on again as we begin our abdominal series. And you're going to feel more sort of superficial muscles working now throughout our workout too. So we're going to inhale. 
And on our rest day, like through the mouth, let's think about drawing the belly button down as we said, let it purr to the way or enough just to feel a very little contraction under your fingers. Tighten a little through your pelvic floor now. Let's hold that as we lift the right leg to table top, knee above the hip. Draw the belly button down a little bit deeper now as we lift the left leg to table top. Don't let go of neutral. And our first exercise, one leg stays at table top, the other leg. Let's exhale as we lower it down over the mat, hover it over the floor and inhale to bring it back up. We're gonna to go to the opposite side. Exhale as we lengthen down over the floor, inhale back up. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Let's take it that slow for now as we move along through the next few minutes. I'm using this exercise and it's presuming that you've built up a little bit of strength over the past 22 days or so because this is an intermediate level exercise. So hopefully most of us have the strength now to allow that leg to lower right down towards the mat without letting our backs come up off the floor, without letting go of this nice neutral posture. If you feel you can't, if you feel maybe you don't have that strength yet, if you feel when one leg drops, your whole body moves with it, then I want you to take it a little bit slower and just go in a diagonal line instead. So you can see, modify, just go in a diagonal line instead, focusing on keeping the back where it is, not letting it pop up. Well done. So whichever level works for you, making sure we've lovely length through the spine, Particularly on the harder level here, you're drawing the belly button down as the leg lifts. Don't allow the leg to pull the rest of your body down too. One leg stays dead still at this tabletop or hip flexion, knee flexion position. And you'll really feel those lower abdominal muscles working hard with this. If you're doing well, keep going. If you want to add a little bit extra to it, if you're doing okay, let's interlock our fingers. Put our hands to the back of our head and lift up off our shoulders. Continue. You're going to start to work a little harder through the upper abdominals now too by coming up off the shoulders. We also want to make sure that our pelvis stays level from side to side. So as the legs drop and lift, we don't want our pelvis to rock or wobble from side to side. And we're working our oblique abdominals here to help us do that and our deep, deep core. Making sure the pelvis doesn't rock when you move. Let's go for two more. Lengthening, lowering, one more. Well done. Let's come up again, another intermediate advanced exercise. When we're up, we're going to all come up now, nod the chin. Let's extend the left leg. We're going to extend the right leg. Still keep your pelvis neutral. Draw the belly button down now. Let's swap legs and swap and swap and swap breathe in out breathe in breathe out breathe in go a little faster breathe out breathe in making sure the belly button's pulled down advanced level keep going if that's too intense for you let's come back to bent knees and we're going to hold the head and we're going to lower one leg down and swap and swap and swap so you decide which level works for you we've done this another time throughout the 22 days so keep going whichever level suits you breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out if your neck is feeling a strain lower your head and do the movement like this or like this this one's a little easier if you come up off your shoulders let's go for five four three two one and pause if you're in this position i want you to pause one leg hovering over the mat, the other leg in the air, draw the belly button down. If you're in the other position, you're paused too. Let's hold it with one leg up, one leg down for five, four, three, two, one, and swap. Let's hold it. Nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Make sure this leg doesn't go all the way to the floor because then you're resting, you're relaxed. Keep it up. Let's go for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the legs back to tabletop. Interlock the fingers behind the head. Lower the head for the moment. We're going to come up to the side, uh, to the left, and we're going to allow our right leg to lengthen. Just check that you're still in your nice Pilates posture, your back in neutral, remember, with the low back. 
off we go and down let's go for four more to the same side and drop three more again this is a more advanced level if you want to make it easier then i just want you to come up with the upper body keep the legs still or even put the legs on the floor one more and drop let's pause let's all go to the opposite side now don't go any faster than i'm going rotate that upper body so easiest variation legs on the floor in the center legs are at tabletop so you're not moving your legs and advanced we're lengthening the left leg as we turn to the right and drop exhale lengthen feeling those abdominals guys last three last two last one well done let's come up off our mat we're going to come up to a sitting position these next two movements are not recommended if you've got osteoporosis so skip on if you've got osteoporosis we're going to come onto our forearms then have your forearms supporting you uh, on both sides we're going to check and get into pelvic neutral let's lift our legs up to tabletop and then we're going to do some side to side movements here open the collarbones lengthen the head and neck let's turn the legs over to one side as if you're actually going to let them touch the floor but don't actually go the full way and come back to center you'll really feel those abs working let's go to the other side just go as far as you can control and back to center so not recommended if you've osteoporosis not recommended if you've any acute injury or back pain or spinal condition and up. we want to really feel the tummy draw the belly button in now let's go for one more exhale and inhale this time go halfway to one side hold it pull your belly button in and let's extend those knees off and out bring them back and back to center to tabletop let's go to the other side rotate as far as you can control exhale extend come back in and back to center let's go over to the side tummy tight as you exhale back in and to center over we go exhale as we extend inhale to bend back to center one more on either side over we go to the side belly button pulled in as you exhale inhale exhale to center inhale turn exhale extend inhale exhale let's lift ourselves up we're going to hold our knees in definitely not recommended again if you've got any of those injuries or osteoporosis let's hug the knees into our chest sit really tall we're going to roll back and roll up so rolling like a ball roll back roll up tighten the tummy roll back roll up open the chest roll back roll up two more roll back roll up don't let go of the legs keep holding them into your chest and up good let's go again this time when we come back up just hover 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 and again it's going to work those abdominals harder hover as you come back up open the collarbones lengthen the head and neck hover don't touch the floor if you can help it roll and lift really nice for our spinal mobility as well as our core and abdominal strength as we do rolling like a ball two more Keep the legs hugged in, tummy tight. Roll and lift. One more. Roll and lift. When we're up, let's stay here. We're balancing on our pelvis, on our bum. We're going to exit as we extend our arms and our legs. Let's come back in. Roll like a ball again. Up we come. Hold it. Arms and legs. Let's go for two. Exhale, extend into teaser. And back in. Roll like a ball and up not touching the toes off the floor at all yet let's go for three and in tummy tight two and in one more excellent let's go all the way to five to finish roll and lift let's extend that's it three and two working through the low back and thighs as well one more last one guys let's go for five of those hover don't touch the floor yet shoulders down collarbones open let's go five think about that lovely teaser position four tummy really working draw the belly button in three legs working two last two and last one well done everybody from here 
Now turn around and finish with a quick tight stretch because everything we did was up a tabletop today. We want to open this area. So let's get ourselves into this high kneeling position, legs hip width apart. If you have something to hold on to, it would be good to put your right hand maybe on uh, the wall or a chair right now. Let's take our right foot in front. We're going to keep our pelvis level. Let's lean forward and hold the stretch here through the front of the pelvis and front of the thigh. If you want a deeper stretch, then take the back foot up, hold it. We'll continue to hold on for balance if you need it. If you feel you can, then take the hand away, maybe put it on the other hip or here. Let's allow our breath to normalize, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let your heart rate just come back down after those really fun abdominal exercises. And then we'll just swap over to finish. I'm just gonna turn so that I can still hold on here. I'm gonna take my left foot in front, make sure your pelvis is level, leaning forward. I heard my knee crack there, it's okay. Let's lift that back leg up. Making sure we're not overextending or arching the back, keeping the rib cage down. Having that lovely stretch, breath in and breath out. And release. Well done. That's our abdominal uh, day done. Again, day 23. Well done and we'll see you tomorrow.